What's up? Fortnite Fanatics, Wayne Sanity here with Fortnite Friday. And there's a new figure series on the block. It's, of course, the Hasbro figures. Hasbro Fortnite Victory Royale series. I think these are going to be comparable to the Jazzwares Legendary series. Uh, that's why Ghoul Trooper is here. But is it replacing them? I don't know. Is Hasbro... Because remember, before, that's why these are here. We're going to compare the boxes. And obviously, I'm going to open Link's first look ever at a Hasbro Fortnite fig. I'm going to open this, compare it to Ghoul Trooper. But I want to do a box-style comparison. So we got our 7-inch McFarlane figures. The 6-inch Jazzware... Jazzwares... Legendary series figures, and then, and then these Victory Royale series, not to be confused with the Victory series, also from Jazzwares. Now Jazzwares has partnered with Hasbro to make the Nerf stuff. You see both logos on those boxes. So at this point, we don't know. Are they just kind of taking over the six inch? Is this even six inch? It doesn't say six inch. But you know, your first impression is the boxes. I don't get too excited about boxes, but I got to say, of these three, of these three. This is, this is the worst. We're not seeing the character. I guess you're seeing her butt, but... I don't know. Like I said, I don't get much about boxes. Uh, well, se second part of the first impression is price point. Oh my gosh. Is this just inflation? Or is Hasbro trying to somehow justify $4 more per figure? So these were always 20 And these were always 20 Lots of accessories. Lots of weapons. Alt faces, no alt faces, only three accessories. Uh, to deal with these, you got much better paint job. You got f a little bit fewer accessories, but you got stands. You got the figure stand. Uh, this doesn't come with a stand. It doesn't come with alt faces. And how many are out as of current? Last week, November 2021, I saw them all at Target. Looks like they're doing single packs. $24. Ripley, Lynx, Chaos Agent and Midas. So that is four. And then there's three deluxe packs out, which are, is a single figure, single figure plus enhanced accessories. Those are 36, $36 for one figure. And so far, I saw Sky, Meow Schools, and Jewels in those packs. And then uh, the eighth thing is something called the Upgrade Shark. It's just an accessory. All right? You know, maybe it's technically a vehicle, but you don't get a, a, a new figure even. I think what I'm most hoping, no finger articulation. That's some nonsense. That's why it can barely hold harvesting tools. Yeah, but you notice really basic minimalistic packaging. They're not telling you the height. They're not telling you the number, the, you know, the points of articulation. They're not telling you anything. It's just like, here's your figure. Here's three accessories. You're going to get it or not. We dare you. Was that in there? I, I guess one thing, we're going to see a lot of this. Trying to compensate for the hyperinflation that's taking place current year. We're probably going to see a lot of that stuff with toys. Things wrapped in tissue paper and not put... I, I imagine these, um... The plastic thing holds the figures. I used to know the name for it. I imagine that's relatively costly. I think we're going to see a lot more basic packaging in basic cardboard. Victory Royale series, I got links. Of those characters, what has been done before? So the Midas... In, yeah, look at this. Tissue paper. I was going to say, Midas had been Jazzwares Legend. And it's going to be Jazzwares... I mean, Hasbro. This this series, this scale. Uh, Ripley was not a Legend. Ripley was 4-inch. Lynx is also a 4-inch. I just found out. And then brand new... Jules was a 4-inch, but brand new to any of the lines... Is Chaos Agent. Meowskulls was four inch, and Meowskulls was what Jazz was called the Brawlers, seven inch legend. What are we seeing so far? Very sleek, but I think it's comparable. I think they're going to look compatible on your shelf. It looks way sleeker though. Very skinny arms, very skinny legs. I'm going to be curious to see. If there's, you're gonna have to get some stands for these somewhere. Either the McFarland stands or the Moose stands. 
But that's my point. Is there going to be holes in the feet of the Hasbro figures? To accommodate standage. Oh! Peak content. Twin Sanity's first ever Fortnite Hasbro figure. There's holes in the feet. Golly, come on. Smaller than the Jazzwares Legends. So these are compatible with the McFarlane stands. These, I think, are going to be compatible with the Moose stands. Let's look at the other two accessories. You get one gun. I don't mind that they reduce the number of guns. And you get a harvesting tool. This is probably a good comparison right here. It's smaller. This is the Chazwares. This is the Hasbro. And I guess we're going to compare articulation next. Remember, this had all faces, all expressions. Nothing like that here. Great paint apps. And full range in the neck. Okay, also full range. It's even smoother, you know, because ball joint. This one, it's, it doesn't have that exposed sort of hinge in the neck. Shoulder, bicep, elbow, wrist, no fingers. And you look at the design here, you see... Whatever you call, you see how the, yeah, okay, it's a much cleaner design. So you're seeing the pieces of the joint. I mean, it's the same functionality. I don't know why they don't design all action figures like that. But the arm articulation is exactly the same. Except no, uh, no fingers. So down in the hand, these joints in the fingers make it really hard to hold stuff. Otherwise, the same, including bicep articulation. Uh, you get upper torso and waist on Jazzwares. And Hasbro is the same. And possibly the waist looks cleaner because at an angle it's not just straight across. Okay, hip, ball joints. So these get hip and the um, thigh articulation, which never has made much sense to me. So I, I think no thighs on here unless it's under that separate piece of plastic. I don't think there's thigh articulation. I always think it's weird when they put articulation points in places that the human body doesn't actually articulate. All right. Knee is cleaner without these exposed plugs. But it's the same functionality in the knee, same design. And then ankle is exactly the same. And then, of course, this one has a tail. I think they're comparable. They're going to look good on the shelf together as long as they're not doubling up too many characters, and as long as you're comfortable with paying the new price. Overall, I gotta tell you, this seems like an insanely tiny and flimsy piece of plastic to have paid $24 for. No all faces, which I kinda liked. And in certain characters, Skull Trooper, crack shot, it really encouraged me to buy more than one so I could display all the faces. All faces are gone and the printing is comparable. Printing and painting basically the same. I think technically this has no painting. Well, this place on the side is probably painted and the eyes and it's hard to tell these days. Those eyes and the stripe on the top could totally have been printed but then you notice there's this detailed printing on the helmet, on the sides of her body, and then her lower arms and ankles have printing. It says 2021 Epic Games Hasbro SA 
on the inner thigh. And uh, we're going to need to find some stands. That much is obvious. I don't know. Hasbro has entered the game. Smaller hands, smaller feet, and very skinny proportions. I guess we'll have to look at a dude for the next one. What do you think so far? I don't know. I hope Jazzwares isn't falling out of the game entirely. They seem to be going super strong with the 4-inch. But maybe this is an indication they're dropping out of the 6-inch game. Legendary series, but I thought they did rather well. Packaging, I gotta say, is abysmal. We got this awesome, you know, full back image. We always got a consistent tagline. We got a cross sell. None of that here, but this might just be a reflection of current day and cost saving techniques. I'm gonna miss the taglines. No details as far as articulation, figure height, or accessories. And no cross sell. That is very bizarre. Twenty-four dollars. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you think in the insanity box below. Thumbs up because I gotta go.